Hey, we're Richard Gimmons here, Executive Director for Southwest MLS, and today I'm going to talk about super using. I'm going to cover what it is, why it's important, and then how to do it. So what super using is, is the ability to, you log in as yourself, but then you're using somebody else's account. That's why it's called super using. So the situation you would use this for is uh, you're going on a two-week vacation to Bali, and, uh, and while you're gone, you need somebody to look after your Flex account for you. You need them, they might need to be able to update a listing for you. If any kind of compliance issue comes through, they might need to react to that. Maybe they need to uh, you know, update a safe search or a subscription for you at a customer's request, things like that. And a lot of people might do this by handing over their username and password to somebody else, but problem with that, we have a $5,000 fine for login sharing. Uh, so as part of what we do and part of our contract with Flex MLS, uh, we actually ha have to track that and make sure people are not login sharing. And the reason for that is, um, I'll, I'll use Jane and John as an example here, no offense to any Janes or Johns out there, but Jane's going on vacation, she gives uh, jo uh, John her password, John logs in directly, John does something stupid or illegal. Uh, in our system, it looks like Jane did it because as far as the system knows, it's Jane that's logged in. However, in a situation with super using, John logs into his own account, super uses as Jane, and you know, it, to, to a customer or to the public, anything that he does looks like Jane did it, but in the background, we can tell John did it. So that's the reasoning behind super using and why it's important. You know, one of the things I always talk about is you have a free process, you know, super using is free, there's no charge for it, uh, or you can get a five thousand dollar fine. You know, this isn't this isn't really a, a hard decision to make, right? So, if you want to super use, this is what you do. So on gar.com, uh, if you go under members and then go to forms, it'll bring you to this page here, and then on this right side under swimless forms, there's the super use request form. Uh, two different ways you can do it. You can either click on that link and you get the PDF and fill it out and send it into us. Or we really prefer you to just use the online version. That's probably the easiest thing for you as well. And the only thing we have to do is we just need the permission of the designated, the qualifying broker of the office, and then who's going to be the super using and who they're going to be super using as. So the person who will be super using as others, in my example, was John, and then he's going to be super using as Jane. And then the qualifying broker of the office would just come in here and put their name here and sign it there, and then we get you signed up. The, the PDF form is very similar. It's just qualifying broker signature to get permission, and then the, uh, the, person of the, the name of the person super using, and then who they're super using as. Then, once we get that completed for you, normally we have it done in less than 24 hours. Uh, very rarely will it ever go longer than that. Once you're over in Flex, the way it works is up here in the top right, uh, the person who is going to be super using is going to see this change a little bit. So before I was able to super use, it would have just said RG, but now it's saying RG as RG. So now it's RG myself logged in as RG, also myself. So what you do is you click on that and then you just put in the, the person's login name of who you're going to be super using as instead. So I'm going to super use as Josiah. So I'm going to change this to abq.josiah and hit use. And then that's going to bring me over to Josiah's account. As you can see here, you know, it's his safe searches that I'm seeing on the screen. If it's his contacts I'm seeing, and if I go into, you know, anything like, you know, safe searches or contacts, it's just like I'm logged into his account. And anything that I do while I'm in his, in his account is going to send out as if it was him doing it. So, you know, this also applies for teams. Like if you're a member of a team, then you're automatically going to get super use access to the team account. So that so you would log you would do the super use as the team, and then uh, you know so abq dot whatever the team's login is, and then anything that you do is going to look like it's the team that's doing it. So the, you know this applies for teams, it applies for admins, it applies for just you know somebody else in your office who's helping you out, so on and so forth. So. Um, that's the that's kind of the overview of super using. If you have any questions about that, of course, give us a call down here at the bottom, 505-843-8833, or support at swmls.com. We'll certainly happy to help you out with that. Uh, there are a couple little exceptions here and there, like if you're going to super use across offices and things like that, there's some there's some sometimes some things we run into, but we can help you work through it. Just again, one more time, 505-843-8833, or support at swmls.com. Thank you all, and have a great day.